All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wahavachak Wadash, which Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rachak Wadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I want to get into a lesson that's dealing with etiquette and order in this truth. Okay? You know, basically, you know, how we deal with the brotherhood. You know? And I'll say this. This topic should be talked about, you know, every so often due to, you know, various reasons. All right? But two that come in mind is... You always have new brothers that come into this truth, okay? And the second thing is, you know, we got to hear this exhortation because, you know, we slip and fall ourselves, okay? So it's always good to have that, um, um, I'll say this to, you know, to, uh, to, to, to be reminded that, you know, we, we have structure, okay, in order within this brotherhood, you see? And uh, I want to start off with this scripture here in uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. And it reads here, that all things be done decently and in order. And you see, once you uh, come into this truth, you know, you have to put on that new man. All right. You, you can't, you know, have that old man on and think that things are going to, you know, run smoothly. And I'll say this, the old man was taught that, you know, you're always right. And you're number one, you know, it's your way or no way, all right, so on and so forth. But see, when you, when you come into this, uh, uh, this faith, okay, all right, you, you know, you're amongst, you know, the brothers, you're in the brotherhood now, hey, things are structured, okay, there's order. And you got to uh, honor these things, and you got to, you know, uh, you know, follow, you know, the, the, the chain of command, okay, and there's a lot of things that, you know, that are involved, all right? You know, I'll say this, you know, you have, um, um, you first and foremost have to go to camp. Out here in Chicago, I'm not sure how the other camps do it, but you, we have class, uh, um, classes that you have to attend to. You know, you, we have a, a thing called precept of the day where a brother, he posts a, 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 a specific scripture and you have to, you know, respond to it, okay? All right, you know, there's uh, even small things that have to get taken care of, uh, such as, you know, we, you know, have a main house where we, you know, gather, right? And at that main house, you know, you have the elder who lives there that says, look, I want X, Y, Z things done before you leave. And you got to, you know, uh, 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 take care of those things, you know? You got to sweep, you got to mop, all right? You know, make sure everything's tidied up, garbage is taken out. You know, so on and so forth, you see? And you you got to honor and respect these things, okay? Let me get a, um, the definitions for both decently and also the word in order, okay? And it reads here for decently, this is a G2156, and it reads... Um, yo shaka man, manos, yo shaka manos, okay, that's the Greek, and it says here what, in a seemly manner, okay, which basically I believe that goes into just basically having an order, okay, it goes into decorous, which, you know, pretty much, like I said, it, it, there's a specific way to do things, right, um, let's go into the root word. And it says, what here? There's a few definitions I want to highlight. It says, gracefully, calmly, honorable, and respectable. These are a, a, a few uh, definitions that, you know, caught my eye. You know, things got to be done properly. You know, so, a, 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 so it's respectable and honorable. Okay. And hold on. There's a, there was another definition, I believe. Uh, 
Yeah, ba basically goes into to a manner of life, uh, basically a fashion of things. And look, you know, this this is truth. In this truth, you know, you, we got uh, specific things that we need to uh, uh, to do, okay? Things that got to get checked off, you know, on the list. All right? Whether you, you know, like it or not, it is what it is, you know? And you have to follow... Hey, well, what's set in place? And look, if you don't, now you're just being rebellious, okay? You're being proud. And the Lord, I'll say this, is going to take care of it. The Lord's going to deal with you. And trust me, you do not want to uh, 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 be dealt with by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Your judgment's going to come down and it's going to be terrible. And I'll say this, you may think that something is, you know, small and it's insignificant, right? But it could be a major thing. You know, in the eyes of the Lord. So that's why it's very, very important, okay, to, you know, f uh, 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 follow orders. And then I'll say this too, respect the the, 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 the ranks, okay? Because that's what I want to get into, because that goes into also your, your etiquette, man. All right? Look, there, there's a, a, a rank for a reason. You know, uh, out here in Chicago, you know, we have the, we have, uh, the elders of our camp. Then, since our camp is so big, we've broken into, you know, several camps, right? We have sub camps, you know, and each sub camp has a a, a head, right? Then you then then you have uh, uh, bishops, deacons, teachers, disciples, and then the you know, the uh, uh, the newcomers. All right, so there's a whole rank. And with that being said. You should be doing certain things around particular men, all right? And I'll say this, you know, brothers, when you hear the elders, the heads of the camps, the bishops, deacons, etc., right? You know, you 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 see them interjecting, they're they're making a point. You shut down immediately. All right? If you if you if you, uh, the elder is speaking, and yeah, you may have a precept for the elder, right? But if you hear your bishop or your deacon, right, say that they have something, you shut down immediately. There is no going back and forth. Okay? There is no trying to, uh, uh, you know, you know, uh, for lack of words, cut the line. You know? There's, there, there's no you pushing, you know, uh, uh, forward to get, to, to get it out. No, man, you fall back. See, there's guys out there that don't that, that aren't mindful of these things, and now I'll say this: now, if you, because you may have not have been taught these things when you were in this world, right? But once you come into this truth, you have to uh, uh, adjust. You have to uh, make changes, man. Okay, you see, it's small things like that that you that you gotta uh, recognize. Also, even this, and I'm gonna get into the scripture uh, soon too. You 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 let the uh, the uh, this, you know who's ever above you walk into the into the house first, man. Okay, you make sure they they get a, a plate of food first before you. You know, these are are important things, and it shows you you know uh, structure and order. All right. Look, that's that worldly stuff where you know. You go into the house first, you you know, you get your plate first. That shows that you're really worried about yourself more, more than anything else. You know, and that's off. Okay. But let me get uh, also um, this word order before I get um, the scripture in John, the 20th chapter. But let me get this. This is the word for order. It says what? An arrangement. It says what? Do or right order, or uh, it says, uh, 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 rank. You see, you got to do things, you know, uh, in rank, it can't be all over the place. And I'll say this even in Esau's world, you, you, you don't have that. All right, the look, I'll say this the cadet's not going to tell the general what to do, or he's not going to, you know, uh, speak over the general. That's madness. A CEO is not going to be outshined by a, a, a what do you call that, um, you know, 
a, a first month employee. That's ridiculous. You see? No, that's not how it works. And look, it's same in, the, in, in this truth. Look, you, you, you brothers who are disciples and, and, and teachers, you're not going to, uh, 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 for lack of words, outshine and outtalk an elder, a bishop, a deacon, etc. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And that's why I'll say this, for especially you new brothers, get familiar with who is who, man, so to speak. Okay? What rank are they? What's their position in this camp? You know? You, you, you really got to know who's who. All right? Hey, I'll say this. You're new to the household. You're new in this house. Hey, these brothers have been around 17, 16, you know, 15 years on down. You know what I'm saying? You barely showed up a year ago. Who are you? You know? So fall back. Hey, be swift to hear as the scriptures say. Hey, be, uh, be, be willing to serve. You see? Like I said, hey, 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 this all deals with order and etiquette. You got to learn these things. And like I've been saying for years. Okay? This is going on years now. It's much more, this truth is much more than just uh, 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 cursing out Esau, the black woman, all right? Reading a million precepts on the line, going to two, three camps. You see, it's much more than that. How's your behavior? See, a lot of guys, this is something I'll say this. I learned this from uh, uh, the elder brother out here, Kapatazah. He always mentioned this. He always makes this, you know, uh, statement from time to time. He always tells brothers, hey, man, you, you need to read those books of wisdom regularly. You know, the Sirachs. All right. You know what I'm saying? The Sirach, the, the Proverbs, the wisdom of Solomon, etc. Read those books. It'll show you how to uh, 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 how to um, how to behave yourself. OK, in this world. It'll show you how to deal with, you know, brothers, you know, how to deal with your elders, etc. You see, but a lot of guys, they, 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 they read stuff and, you know, one, two times and they think they're good. I all need to start really applying the scriptures, man. All right. You know what? Let me get that. Let me get this real quick. This is, um. Oof, man, there's a couple of good ones. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 23 and 12. Let me see if there's anything above that. Uh, straight to the point. Proverbs 23 and 12. Apply thy heart, meaning your mind, unto instruction, and thy ears to the words of knowledge. See, you got to learn how to apply, man. Okay? Actually, you know, um, use, the, you know use these precepts in your, your day-to-day walk. OK, and look, if you're not doing that, you know, if you're not applying these things to your life, well, what's the point of even reading? What's the point of even being in this truth? OK. All right. Just trying to see if there was, you know, a, a, a deeper meaning in that word apply. All right. But see, you know, like I said, guys don't do this. They get, you know, they learn a couple breakdowns. You know, they, they, you know, they learned that they're an Israelite, and now they think that they're good. Nah, man, they, 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 you got to continue evolving in this, in this thing of ours, okay? I was just talking to the elder brother, Ayadiah Nawa, about that uh, uh, before I did this lesson. I said, Jake, you got a lot of Jakes that are stagnant, and the reason that they're stagnant is because they stay in their uh, uh, comfort zone. Jake needs to start uh, uh, feeling uncomfortable because they will... When you feel uncomfortable, that basically means that you're changing. And look, once you start changing, okay, that's going to uh, actually make you a better man. You see? But see, you got a lot of guys that they, they want to get out that comfort zone. But see, this truth requires that. 
It does. It requires a uh, 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 change. It requires you being uncomfortable. You see? But at the end of the day, this is going to make you better. All right? But let me get that, um, that John, the 20th chapter. Like I said, this is even just, um, just to show you some etiquette in the scriptures. Okay? This is John 20. We're going to start at 1. All right? This is John 21. Shows you his order and etiquette right here. This is the uh, uh, this is beautiful, okay. And a lot of a lot of people, if they're not um, if they're not learned, so to speak, right? They won't. They they'll look past this. You know, they they won't think too much of it. But this says a lot right here in these few verses, right? This is John twenty and one. The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene, you know, early. It says, when it was yet dark unto the, unto the sepulcher, and, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulcher. And this is after Yahweh Shai was, you know, crucified and they buried him, right? It says here, then she runneth and cometh to Simon Peter. And it says, and to the other disciple whom Yahweh Shai loved, which that's talking about John, all right? Um, the, uh, the apostle John didn't like to refer himself. OK, that's why it, it, um, it was written like that. It says, uh, but let me read it again. John 20 and two. Then she runneth and cometh to Simon Peter. And to the other disciple whom Yahweh Shai loved and saith unto them. They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulcher and we know not where they have laid him. Peter, therefore, went forth and that other disciple and came to the sepulcher. So they. Ran both together, and the other disciple did outrun Peter and came first to the sepulcher. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen clothes lying, yet went he not in. Okay, this, that's very important. Let me keep reading. Verse 6, then, si then cometh Simon Peter following him and went into the sepulcher and saw the linen clothes lie and the napkin that was about his head not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went, went in also the other disciple when he came first to the sepulcher and he saw and believed. All right. And the reason why I brought that out was because the apostle, uh, okay, John, he didn't just walk, walk in first, okay? Even though he he showed up to the uh, to the sepulcher before the apostle Peter, and the reason why he did that was because the apostle Peter was above him in rank. Okay, he was a uh, apostle Peter was above the apostle John in rank, so that's why he waited. And the reason why I'm bringing that out is, brothers, that sh it, like I said, that shows order and that's etiquette right there, man. Okay. So you brothers need to learn like little things like that. Hold, like I said, as you're walking into, you know, into a restaurant and you're walking into, you know, a house, whatever, right? You lower ranking brothers should be holding the door open for the elder or the elder brother. Okay? No, you, you know, elder, you going first. You know, a bishop, a deacon, you going first. I got the door for you. Don't worry about it. You know, you just don't uh, uh, barge in. OK. And like I said, I, I understand that, you know, brothers make mistakes and all that, but I'm just trying to make a point. Hey, get familiar with these things. OK. Like I said, man, but a brother should be, you know, uh, more on point. Hey, you, you, you're at a, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a get, you know, a get together with the brothers. Right. You're going out with the Akim, you know, you, 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 you're getting, you know, some grub, right? Your hand shouldn't be, you know, the first one out there and grabbing a plate, okay? Let me get this. Um, man, where is that in Ciroc? Oh, jeez, how was it worded? Let me see if it's worded like this. Oh, man, how was it? 
There's a, a, a scripture in Sirach that tells you about that. You know, I, if I can't find it, um, Salak, I honestly forgot how it's worded. But it, it tells you that you shouldn't have your hand out first. You know, you should be taking care of uh, uh, those around you, especially, all right, a, you know, your, um, your elders, okay? There we go. Um... Man. Give me one second. I'm trying to f figure out where to start. Sirach goes in. But you know what? We'll start here. Here we go. This is Sirach 31 and 12. If thou sit at a bountiful table, be not greedy upon it. And say not, there is much meat on it. All right, so when you're at a feast, man, okay, don't be going for seconds and thirds and fourths, man. Or when, when, when people have barely gotten their first, okay? Don't be greedy. It's going off, man. Keep reading. Verse 13. Remember that a wicked eye is an evil thing. And what is created more wicked than an eye? Therefore, it weepeth upon every occasion. Stretch not thy hand whithersoever it looketh. And thrust it not with, with him into the dish. Alright? So, don't, don't be just, you know, sticking your hand out and grabbing stuff. And Hey man, they, 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 even in the world... I'll say this, at least my family, I, I, I don't, like I said, I, I don't know how Jake was raised because, you know, we were all raised differently and especially in this terrible world that we live in. But I, I know in my family, man, you, you can't just be, you know, stretching out and grabbing stuff like you, you, you know, you would have to ask, you know, oh, can you pass the, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, the meat? Can you pass the vegetables? Can you pass the gravy? Right. You know what I'm saying? You see? That, that that's how it was, cause that's rude. You know, somebody might be you know eating and you're you you know stretching over, you know across the the, the grab you know whatever, and now your you, your hands you know across their plate. That that's rude. That's rude and and, that, and, <laughs> and that, that's an uh, irritation, okay. And then just like I said, and then learn learn how to have some descent, uh, some damn self control, right. Hey, you wait to get served. You wait for your plate. You know? Let me keep reading. This is uh, Sirach 31 and 15. Judge not, judge not thy neighbor by thyself and be discreet in every point. Eat as it becometh a man those things which are set before thee and, and devour not, lest thou be hated. Leave all first for manner's sake and be not unsatiable, lest thou offend. Exactly. Look. Uh, uh, that word uh, 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 insatiable goes into uh, uh, not being able to control your lust. Hey, you got to learn how to calm down, relax. You're at dinner. You know? Just wait, let things settle, settle down. Then when we, you know, once you can tell, you know, everybody's served. All right, everyone, you know, is eating, relaxing. You know? Hey, then, then you know, ask politely, you know, if you're still hungry, hey, you know, can I, is it okay if I get, you know, seconds? You know? Do things decently in an order, goddammit. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with Jake? This is uh, Sirach 31 and 18. When thou sittest among many, reach not thy hand out first of all. All right? You see? Don't be that first person grabbing that, that you know, that slice of pizza. All right? Those wings. That beer. You know what I'm saying? I'll say this. I remember there was this one time. It was a, 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 a few of us older brothers. We went to this um, this bar and grill that we go to from time to time, and um, it was a good like, I'll say like seven, eight, you know, nine of us. It was a you know a little decent group, and I remember you know that you know we had our table, and you know the the waiter 
or waitress, she came out, you know, um, I think she, I think we had like two pizzas and maybe like two sets of wings, you know, and she, you know, they placed, you know, our food on the table, you know, had placed the plates down and we all just sat there and nobody, you know, you know, uh, uh, reached out to grab a uh, uh, food right away. We all just kind of sat there and we paused because everyone was, you know, just waiting for, you know, that, that you know, they're waiting for their brother to eat first. And, you know, after a few seconds, you had the, uh, the elder brother, Yasharala, in our camp. He ended up grabbing the plates and started serving everybody, you know. And I, I still remember this because I, I, I kind of saw in my peripheral vision the other people that were at the uh, bar and grill. And they were amazed that none of us just started eating immediately this, uh, as soon as the uh, food, you know, was uh, placed on the table. I still remember that to this day. You know? They were, they, they were in shock. And I'll say this, we're supposed to be looked at as, um, as different. These people should know, no, these men, I can't put my finger on it, but, but, but they're different. All right? Look, we can't have the same type of spirit as these individuals. What do the scriptures talk about? Um, talks about that, uh, uh, that holy conversation, right? And that word holy goes in, it, when you look it up, it goes into being separated, being separate. And that word conversation goes into your conduct. Okay? Basically how you're living. So we have to have a, a, a different way of living. You see? So brothers really got to get on top of these things. And like I said, I, I get it. We all slip and fall. Sometimes, hey, Jake, they're new. They, they, they don't know. They, they, they didn't even realize Okay, but these things have to, uh, uh, they have to, uh, 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 one, be addressed, and then two, Jake has to start changing. And I'll say this, look, man, you, you might see it something as, as small and minute, right? But it, it, tr trust me, it, it's serious, okay? It's serious, and I'll get this real quick, and I'll probably end it off with this. This is Sirach 19, and... Like I said, there's a lot of things in the, you know, man, there's a lot of things that, that, that are, uh, that you have to do when you, you know, when you come into this truth, man. All right. But let me get this. This is Sirach 19 and one, a laboring man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich. And he that contemneth small things shall fall, um, little and little shall fall by little and little. All right. And that word contemneth, it goes into seeing something not significant. So if you don't see these small things as being significant, you're going to fall little by little. All right. Like I said, you not doing your precepts of the day. You not watching, you know, uh, 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 orders. You know, that are, um, are videos that are in the orders room. You just, you know, uh, eating before the elders, right? You getting your seconds and your thirds before other men have, uh, have, have finished their first. You know what I'm saying? All these little things, man. You always having, a, having to make a face when you're told something. Right? I'm telling you, man. Like, the Lord sees all this. Shit, we see it too. I'm telling you, man, you, you're not going to last long. I, I, I've i seen many men come and go over the years now. I've seen many men come and go. And it all starts off with something small. Like something small that gets, you know, brought to their attention. And then, and then they don't want to, you know, you know, change it, right? They don't want to change their, you know, behavioral pattern because they don't see it as anything significant. It's, uh, it, it ain't that big of a deal, right? Just watch, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, hey, look. Hey, the Lord don't have to kick you out right away. 
could be years down the line. And I've seen it. All right. But, you know, hey, hopefully this was, you know, um, um, edifying to whomever's listening. And, um, yeah, I can make just, you know, uh, you know, get in order and um, have, you know, uh, have better etiquette. OK. You know, hey, let's change. Let's put hey, continue to put off that old man and continue to put on the new man. Let's get better. All right. Let's keep getting better every day until the you know the Lord comes back. Till you how about Shimei Al Shai, all right? You know come back. You know to, to until Yahweh sends his son Yahweh Shai back here. All right, but you know I'm gonna end this lesson, and with that I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh about Shimei Al Shai. Also double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and Ababa Ball.